Hello YouTube, Night Phoenix here with another Base Space tutorial video. Today we're going to have a little bit of a shorter video, hopefully a few shorter videos, but this first one is going to discuss leader cards. The point of these shorter videos is to go through different cards in Base Space. So here in my hands I have two leader cards. Hopefully this can just focus. Okay. So this first one we're going to talk about is as was designated in my last video, the passive leader. If you recall from that video, the passive leader is placed here next to the field card underneath your uh, baseboard, shall we call it, and is used for the production of power tokens. And to just go through this specific card, up here we have the type, which is Earth, or as it's called in base-based Terra. We have the name, Leader General Khan. This leader class designates it as a leader. Then on the bottom, we have the order count, which is three. Again, orders are used for things such as summoning a unit, moving a unit, transferring a unit between columns or legions, um, having an order for countering, etc. And then we have these three base stats. Um, in this case, we have plus two attack, plus one health, and plus one counter. Um, again, a leader's stats are based off of their level times two. And here we have the count for how many levels um, is required in order to activate their leader effect. So here it's four, so you have to be level four. Again, to level up a leader, you have to spend the cost of power tokens of the level that you're trying to get to. So to get to from three to four, you have to spend four tokens. To get from four to five, you have to spend five. So this particular effect is actually quite powerful. Um, it's what makes this a really useful card. And it's once per turn, when you summon a unit, add a copy of that unit from your deck to your legion for no extra cost. If no available copies of the card remain, shuffle any copies in your graveyard back into your deck. If there are no available slots um, that remain in any legion, this ability cannot activate. So basically, this is based off of a combination of how Genghis Khan amassed this huge army and I tried to show that with his ability that lets you create a huge army. And also the whole thing about apparently he's fathered many children um, thanks to his massive empire. And then here we have Leader King Arthur Pendragon, the first leader that I made, a light type. I won't go through the stats again because I just explained them. But his particular effect is that you get double health and attack for melee range units. Um, all units are melee range unless they have the range skill, which the archer card has. So it's this little kind of arrow showing like a trajectory path. And that just means that instead of the normal... Uh, Legion 1 attacking your opponent's Legion 1, that now Legion 1 could attack 1 or 2. But to go back to King Arthur's ability, again he is just boosting the melee range units. And normally a leader effect would not um, help boost any of your legendary monster stats, but this particular one does. So Arthur Pendragon is also a fairly significant card. And if you recall from the last video, I set him as the active leader, which means that it's placed to the left of the field card in the middle there. Uh, just one more note, or a couple more notes for the passive leader. Your passive leader will determine what type of card that you have as your field card and will also determine what the first type of territory card is. 
In this particular case, I had light because I didn't have the Terra type card available, but that's how it's just supposed to be. Uh, thanks for watching, and this concludes this video.